Welcome back. I'm at Race Brothers. I have Roger with me, and we're going to talk about fall, the autumn of the year. Good to see you, first Good of all. Good to see you, Tom. All right. When we get into autumn, the bane of everybody's existence are the leaves that have fallen all over the ground, all over your yard, covering your grass that you worked so hard on all year. How do we protect that grass and still work with those leaves? Yeah, because you do need to do with, deal with the leaves. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to smother out your grass. Mm -hmm. You can either start with a good old lawn rake, leaf rake, yeah. and rake them up, yeah. bag them, burn them if you're in a spot you're allowed to. Right. But the best way would be to mulch them up, mulch your mow your grass one more time, mulch the grass, mulch the leaves, and use the natural nutrients that are going to lay there all winter. Okay, that's decompose. There, there, there's a discussion people get into all the time. You mulch them up, you don't have to clean them up then, do you? That's correct. They'll be in small enough chunks then, or pieces, and then they will deteriorate quick enough that they won't uh, hurt your lawn, mm -hmm. and you can take advantage of uh, nature's own nutrients. Right. You also have to make sure that you have a mulching blade and everything on your mower, because a regular blade is not going to mulch. No, that's correct. It will not. And that, most of the newer mowers do come with a combination. The deck is set up to either mulch or discharge or bag mm -hmm. three in one, so it's just a matter of your blade. Yeah. You'd be ready to go. Now, another way to get rid of leaves, I mean, we you, know, you mentioned the, 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 the rake, and it's important to get a good one of those, too. That's, that's right. But the most fun way of dealing with leaves is to blow them in your neighbor's yard, you know. <laughs> that's right. We could do that. Got, yes, exactly. <laughs> you got some huskies right behind us here. A uh, leaf blower, very important at this time of year. That's right. For one, you can blow it out of your uh, landscaping, your shrubbery, get it out so that it's not strangling it. Yeah. And smothering it in there, get it out where at least you can take advantage of it or remove it. But yeah, that's a big point because a lot of people, they do the lawn and they forget around the shrubbery, that'll strangle that stuff out. It gets in there and it gets caked in there and stuck. It, it's a bad deal. Okay, so get a good leaf blower. Again, read the directions, know how to use know it. Know how to use it. Now, another thing to get ready for in fall, I mean, you've got some of these limbs you need to get rid of, and that's where this comes in. This is invaluable. That's right. It's time to get everything trimmed up and uh, looking good and ready to go. So when it starts growing again in the spring, it's got a healthy start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Talk about uh, also y your lawn, because this is going to be a time, sooner or later, it's going to be the last time you mow before winter sets in. Uh, talk to me about that, about getting your ready, you, you know, your your lawn ready for that. One thing you can spread, there's winterizers. It's a product that you put down your lawn, helps it di uh, the roots go deeper, mm -hmm. which will help it be healthier, and it keeps it going better through the winter, and then it, that way it's there for an early start in the spring. Yeah. And then, you, and, and then in the later winter, you'll go with a pre-emergence that gets it all ready for when it starts to, yeah. to come back to life, and it'll take care of some of the weeds, and it gets a little fertilizer in there. But that way you've got the, the, the process going all winter on your, on your lawn itself. I've also heard that, you know, when you get toward the winter, you do your last cut, you need to stop doing the barbecues and parties out on your yard because that can have a bad effect on your grass come spring. Yeah, as, as the grass dies down and gets dry, you can do damage if you've got too much traffic on it and you're stepping on it, walking it in excess. And that's not to mean you can't do it a little bit, but it really it gets a little fragile. All right. Now, if people want more information about what they need to do as they prepare for winter, the different equipment that, you know, would be recommended for them, how can they get this? They can either call us, stop by, we'd be glad to tell them, show them, whatever it takes for them to understand, and we'd like to be uh, part of their process. All right. Thanks for being Thank on you. the show. Come on out to Race Brothers. They do have the answers as we go through fall into winter preparing for spring. Come and see us.